Hello, welcome to part two of charts. Um, thinking about it, I could have fit everything on the last one, but it would have been a long video, so I just wanted to break it up. So this is beneficial certainly for level twos, but also for level ones. So we're going to look at selecting data, so not all of it, whereas we did before, we just clicked anywhere or we highlighted everything, we created a chart, which was nice and easy. But I think um, certainly for level twos, they're not going to let you do that. They're going to want you to choose specific data. So if we are choosing data that's next to each other, we can just simply highlight the data. So we can click in the first cell. I want to get the heading. Click in the first cell, come down, and I can come across. So let's just say I want to highlight London, but I also want to get Adelaide. So because the data is not next to each other, it's separated. You have to hold the control key down and click into the heading and then drag down the second bit of data. And you could carry on with this. You could hold the control key down and select several different bits of data. So again, just to emphasize, if the data is next to each other, you can click and hold and just highlight the data together. If the data you're after is separated from each other, you have to hold the control key down and drag. Now, we learned in the last video that we can just <clears throat> insert a chart. So we're not going to do that now, where we can insert a chart and put the chart on this page. So we're going to work on the premise that they've asked us to put it on another sheet. So if you remember rightly, oh dear, my little notes have just gone. But if you remember rightly um, from before, if you're on a desktop, it will be a control key and the fast track key is F11. I'm going to be sending some criteria out later to show you that, to re-emphasize the fast track keys, etc., and what's in the exam criteria. Um, I'm on a laptop, so I don't know what you're working on. So on my laptop, I know that I have to press, press the function key, the FN and 11. So I'm going to do that. And it has done nothing. Let's go back to my page. Let's highlight on my page again. Function key at 11. I think that was because I just clicked my Word document. It's quite embarrassing. Anyway, so we've got the chart on this page. Now I'm going to shoot along and start highlighting certain things. But we've already done this before, as we can see. I can see my key now, as I was saying before. I've just got two different types of um, data one from London, one from Adelaide, and the key is telling me appropriately what they are. So I just have to rename the heading appropriately. So you can just click in the heading and start typing, or we can come to the add chart elements. So chart title, I'm going to put it above. I'm going to start typing, and I know this is a survey rainfall. Cool. Um, Again, I'm going to make sure it's size 14 and bold so it stands out. Now I'm going to add my access headings. So I'm going to come down to access titles. I'm going to choose the horizontal and I know they are months. <clears throat> I'm going to enter that in and I'm going to highlight them and bring them to 12 and bold. And then I'm going to do my vertical access title. And this is rainfall centimeters. Cool. Again, I'm going to bend this one so my both my access settings are the same style or consistency, and this is the same. So this would be appropriate for um, uh, the exam. This is more than enough for the exam. But as we said in the last video, we know we can enhance these headings by putting borders around. We could put some background color on here. You can move the um, key, the legend, to the right-hand side. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So that's everything with part two. So thank you very much. That concludes everything we have covered up to date. Um, covers the level one functional skills process or the exam requirements. Now, some of these elements may be in the level two. So if level ones are interested, I'm going to move on to level two um, criteria. Um, so if you are moving on to the next apprenticeship level and you're coming back to do ICT, then it's of benefit to look at this. And also, if you're sitting the level one exam and you knock it out of the ballpark and pass with super uh, marks, there is um, an opportunity for you to sit the level two. You'd have to discuss this with your TCs, but there's an opportunity to sit the level two and 
without being rude, get it out of the way for next year so it reduces your timetable. But that would be dependent on how well you did in the level one um, and your workplace left you off, etc, etc. But while it's fresh in your mind, it's worth it, worth thinking about it. So thank you very much. And I will see the level twos for the remaining of the criteria in the next video.